You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Let's begin the show with Goa's biggest religious Hindu festival called as Shigmo or Shigmotsav. The festival spans over a fortnight with different days assigned for different modes of celebrations. So let's get indulged in its vibrant and jolly festivities. Among the various colourful feasts and festivals celebrated across Goa, Shigmo is one of the most eagerly awaited events. Celebrated with colours, costumes, music, dance and parades, the 14-day festival heralds the onset of spring and is organised every year in the month of Hindu calendar Fagun, usually coinciding with March. Traditionally, it was celebrated to honour the homecoming of the warriors who are said to have left to fight invaders at the end of the Shara and returned during Holi. In between, a stop was put to Shigmo festivities, but later they were restarted in 1989 by a Goan named Sunil Nayak with the motive to aware people about the state's rich folk culture. In 1989, when we started, we had a very lukewarm response. The people were not knowing. At that point of time, the whole idea which was there in my mind is to promote the art, folk art, the Sanskriti Amija Mantani, I wanted to promote that. Why? Because there was a distortion, distorted image of Goa was presented not only in India, all over the world. They never knew what is our Paramparik Sanskriti culture. The streets of Goa during Shigmotsav are lit up with colourful decor, lively parades, delicious Goan delicacies, music and dance performances. The parades give one and all a chance to take a glimpse at the life of a Goan, which is depicted in the elaborate folk performances by local men and women who dance tirelessly in huge processions along with the parade. Besides, there are also fancy dress competitions where people, both young and old, dress up in various characters as per their choice, with some even conveying a powerful message. She's actually become a multitasking woman and she has a strong message to show that uh, women are not only uh, for housework. So she's like, uh, a woman is a doctor. When somebody is sick, she's a doctor in the house. When somebody is... Uh, uh, has to go somewhere, she's a driver in the house. She manages all the accounts, so she's an accountant. So she's multitasking, she can do everything. So secondly, she wants to pass a message that uh, you have to save a girl child because uh, she's saying that uh, don't abort any Durga in the womb, don't stop any Lakshmi from going to school. So she has a strong message to tell the whole world. He's become a petrol pump and he's like, he has a message saying that if you can walk, why take your car and go? Save petrol. If you walk, you can, uh, you'll be doing exercise at the same time. One of the star attractions of Shigmo is the float parade depicting several characters from the Indian mythology. The most popular ones are Ravan from the Hindu epic Ramayan and Narkasur from Mahabharat. Thousands of tourists visit the state during this time to witness these spectacular floats and enjoy the cultural and religious aspects of the biggest Hindu festival of Goa. Last so 1918 and today I'm still going strong because it is my baby. It's in my heart. So I don't want to because earlier we used to get this 50,000 one leg out of them. Many foreigners are there. Why do they come? People come with their children. Why? 
people participate you know the parents participate in this uh, see this fellow his parents are there that is the happiest moment because the youngsters so young people where the initiative taken by their parents they know what our paramparik sanskruti what is our culture resembling a carnival shigmo is altogether a complete package of traditional music dance colors and tasty cuisines neatly wrapped in special goan fabric land of many religious and cultural festivals each day is a celebration in india people of different religions caste creed and backgrounds celebrate these festivals together as a show of unity and brotherhood Recently Kanpur city celebrated its regional festival called Ganga Mela where locals of different religious communities celebrated the occasion together. Religious festivals are a great way to celebrate a tradition or ritual and tie citizens in the common knot of love, peace and brotherhood. One among them is Ganga Mela, an annual cultural festival celebrated exclusively in the city of Kanpur. Recently as it observed its 81th edition people of different communities took to the streets to immerse in the festivities of Ganga Mela Holi Kanpur nagar ke andar ek hafte ki manai jati hai aur ye parampara ek hamari purani hai Hindu Muslim ekta ke karan hum log yahan par sadeo aaj barson se yahan par ye hatiya holi samiti se jo thela nikalta hai uska bhav swagat karte hain aur Hindu Muslim ekta ke madhyam se shahar ko ye sandesh dena chahte hain कि जब किसी कार्यक्रम को किया जाता है और उसमें हम का शब्द इस्तेमाल होता है तो हाँ से हिंदू और माँ से मुसलमान जब मिल जाते हैं तो शहर भी उन्नति की प्रगति भी जाएगा प्रदेश भी जाएगा देश भी जाएगा The then British officer banned the use of colors during Holi to which a group of youngsters belonging to Kanpur's Hatia locality revolted under the leadership of Babu Gulab Chandra Seth and were jailed for the same. The action led to fury and the entire city as a mark of protest decided to play Holi until the arrested youngsters were set free. The British government ultimately bowed to their demand and released youngsters. After their release Holi was played again which then became a tradition. Yes, आजादी वर्ष 1947 में लेकिन हटिया वासियों ने आजादी का जश्न 1942 में मनाया। अंग्रेजी हुकूमत ने हटिया होली खेलने के लिए पाबंदी लगाई थी हटिया ने उनको कहा हम होली खेलने के मेरे मेरा मौलिक अधिकार जैसे होली खेलना चालू किया सबको गिरफ्तार करके जेल में डाल दिया। दो दिन तीन दिन चार दिन तक चलता रहा जिस दिन छोड़े गए बंदी सहयोग से तो नाराजा नक्षत्र था तभी से नाराज नक्षत्र में होली लेके परंपरा चालू हो गई It is due to events and festival like these that India stands united and undivided despite of all its diversities. Now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. A solar powered food dryer is helping some of India's poorest rural farmers cut waste and increase their income. The device developed by S4S Technologies need no electricity and has few moving parts but can dehydrate food in approximately 1/10 of the time it traditionally takes using the sun. Two major problems first was that there's a lot of wastage happening from your farm to your marketplace uh, and also at the same time farmers not getting the right price for their produce. So both the things are something that actually appeal to me and that's why I got started with this for us where how can we reduce wastage and at the same time give a uh, good income to farmers S4S Technologies wants to tackle the issue with its low tech solution and financial guarantees buying back dehydrated produce from its farmers a lack of storage also means small holder farmers are forced to sell fresh crops as soon as they are harvested at what is always the lowest price Glamorous divas of Bollywood and Indian entertainment industry dazzled at the red carpet of grand finale of the Parkos Beauty Influencer Awards. 
Noted guests including Bollywood actress Yami Gautam Dhar and TV host Shivani Dandekar Akhtar attended the event. I'm very excited about tonight's awards. I think it's a, I think it's an amazing thing that we're able to honor and uh, award influencers who are in the social media space, changing the game, and um, you know, providing a platform for the younger generation and and people who have access to be able to learn about beauty. Paco's a cosmetic retailer awards influencers in the field of beauty, including social media influencers. Adrenal junkies gathered at the picturesque Sonmark snow-capped hills for a snow car race competition in Kashmir. This was one sport which was not <clears throat> as such very uh, uh, common in Kashmir. So our idea was that we would take more youngsters to this sport. In a thrilling adventure, participants were required to ride their special vehicles on blankets of snow covering and uneven hilly terrain. The season for adventure sports in Kashmir Valley lasts from January to mid or end of March. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well reflected during the special prayers at the shrine of Saint Sayyid Salar Masood Ghazi on his birth anniversary where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of Holy Saint. Lit up with hundreds of diyas in the faint atmosphere of flowers and incense sticks, the Darga of Sayyid Salar Masood Ghazi brightened up on the birth anniversary of the saint. This was the 1038th birth anniversary of the saint, which was attended by devotees of different religious communities. <laughs> चल करके अपनी मन्नतें मांगते हैं और जो जो चरागा अभी आपने दीप पर डेलिट करने का सिस्टम है पूरी दरगाह को जो है दीपों से जो है पर डेलिट कर दिया जाता है लोग आकर के जो है घी के चराग तेल के चराग मोमबत्ती जो जिसकी जैसी सिरदा है जो जैसे उसके पास जो है साधन उपलब्ध होता है वो लोग आकर के यहाँ के ऊपर सैद सलार मसूद गाजी की दरगाह का जो अंदरूनी हिस्सा है यहाँ के ऊपर आकर के जो है दीप प्रज्वलित करते हैं चरागा करते हैं और अपनी मुरादें मन्नतें मांगते हैं इट इज बिलीव दैट सैयद सलार मसूद और गाजी मिया वॉज अ रिवर्ड मुस्लिम फिगर बाय द ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी ही हैड बिकम फेमस एज अ वॉरियर डेविटीज विजिट दिस दरगाह इन ऑर्डर टू सीक द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ द रिवर्ड सेंट डेविटीज मार्क द ओकेजन बाय टेकिंग आउट अ लाइवली प्रोसेशन एंड डांसिंग टू सम मेलोरियस ट्रैक्स People of all communities, be it Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, or Christians, lit diyas and candles and offered prayers to the Sufi saint. It is believed that Sufi saint fulfills the wishes of all, and nobody returns empty-handed from here. बहुत बड़ी तादाद में बहराइच ही नहीं बहराइच के अगल बगल जो जनपद हैं पड़ोसी देश नेपाल है यहाँ से लोग चल करके आते हैं पैदल चल करके लोग आते हैं जुलूस की शक्ल में लेकर के लोग आते हैं चादरें उनके हाथ में होती हैं और तमाम चीजें होती हैं आपके पा आपने जो है तमाम अभी वीडियो बनाई है आपने भी देखा है यहाँ के ऊपर जो है कि जिस तरह से बारात लेकर के लोग चलते हैं इसी तरह से लोग जो है गाजी मिया के दर के ऊपर जो है जश्न विलादत में भी शामिल होने के लिए जो है नाचते गाते शेर पढ़ते हुए नाथ पढ़ते हुए जैसी जिसको जो भी याद है जो है वो करता हुआ बजा शरीफ के ऊपर पहुंचता है दरगाह ऑफ हजरत सैयद सलार मसूद गाजी इज अ परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कम्यूनल हार्मनी दैट इज विटनेस थ्रू आर देंथ एंड ब्रेथ ऑफ आर कंट्री The solidarity among the different religious communities has remained a hallmark of India's unity since time immemorial. And now we will take you to Bangalore, city of Karnataka, where city's own annual art fest Chitra Santhe was organized after the pandemic break in its full glory. Hundreds of art lovers, enthusiasts and locals thronged the street fest as they were delighted to have stepped out of their homes. after the covid-19 break 
Art has the ability to express things that words aren't capable of. Art lovers in Bengaluru rejoiced as they attended city's annual art fair Chitra Santi, which was organized after the pandemic break in its full glory. The exhibition had hundreds of artists from all around the state to showcase and sell their art and craft pieces. After the pandemic, I would believe that it's a very strong statement that says that after all the problems and challenges, we have come back to normalcy and with a great vigor we have come back. See, during the pandemic, I think the, everyone suffered, but artist community depends on people interaction. Uh, musicians, artists, they all depend on people interaction and the venues where they showcase their work. That not being there in two years of online, whatever Chitrakala Parshat tried, we are grateful to them. But it did not have the same warmth and return which we have always experienced in the live uh, Chitra Sante. After an online event last year, due to the pandemic, this was the 19th edition of the Art Festival, which was organized by the Karnataka Chitrakala Pariksha. Stalls were set up at the Kumara Krupa Road of the city where students, art lovers and professional artists took a stroll through the lead and brought paintings. Many seasoned artists sold paintings worth lakhs of rupees while the works of art students went as low as rupees 100 to 200. The importance of Chitra Sante grows manifold because it provides artists with an opportunity to showcase their works at a fraction of the fee charged by private art galleries. The festival came as a breath of fresh air for visitors and art lovers who were stuck at their homes in the pandemic. It's good to see people out and about again and uh, even though I've been in Bangalore for a long time, I've never visited actually an arts expo. So as a first experience, I'm very happy to see that there are lots of talented individuals here. Many artists featured paintings of actors, politicians, religious figures and more. Metal art, denim art and feather art also piqued the interest of visitors. And in the end, we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Traditional tunes from Iraq, Andalusia and beyond echoed through Mosul's old city over the past few days as audiences gathered to attend the Mosul International Music Festival. Over several months, two dozen local musicians received training in Mosul and founded four different music groups. They performed at the festival alongside groups from France, Spain and Italy. الفرقة اللي معي هي فرقة من إسبانيا اسم الفرقة جذور الأندلس راح نقدم منوعات من المقطوعات اللي هي منها أغاني عراقية بس معمولة بطريقة قريبة إلى موسيقى الأندلس موسيقى الفلامينكو كما نعرف إحنا في من أهم الموسيق الموسيقيين اللي عاشوا اللي هو اسمه زرياب من أهل الموصل اللي انتقل إلى إسبانيا إلى الأندلس وكان جزء مهم في تكوين موسيقى الفلامينكو اللي نعرفها اليوم Late Siddiq, a violinist and composer who was born in Iraq but later on fled the war and made a career in music, performed at the festival with a band called Andalusian Roots. They offered a selection of Iraqi traditional songs with a flavor of flamenco. Mosul residents who attended the festival said they hoped the event would become an annual one and would revive the musical activities in their city. Heartwarming movie Coda about a deaf family with a hearing daughter won the prestigious Best Picture Prize at the Oscars, the first time a streaming service took home the film industry's biggest prize. Thank you to the Academy for letting our Coda make history tonight. Um, and congratulations to all of our fellow nominees. Your movies were all so incredible. We're so honored to be here. Sean, it hasn't been an easy ride from our first day shooting when our cast and crew was, were supposed to be at 4 a.m. at sea fishing when we were told a giant storm was about to hit us. It was only the beginning of our problems, but you've, been, you've kept the boat afloat and you've, best, you've been the best captain 
a producer can ever dreamed of. Really. <laughs> to our incredible cast, you guys have made an, such a wonderful and loving family on screen, but also off screen. And everybody want to be a part of it. And contrary to you, Ruby, no one wants to seem, no one seems to want to live it. So you guys, <laughs> and I want to thank Eric, our partner in Paris, and our team at Vendôme. I want to thank my better half, Leah, and my kids who are all here. I love you. I want to thank Terry Semmel for mentoring me at my early days. And lastly, I want to thank my dad. I hope you're watching from up there. I love you very much, and this one's for you too. Coda was released by Apple TV Plus, which beat Netflix's contender The Power of the Dog and other entries from traditional Hollywood studios. Hollywood's most prestigious award ceremony returned to all out glitz at the Dolby Theatre after pandemic restrictions limited the event last year. Mexican entrepreneur Nezret Black is defying gender norms in the automotive industry by building a 100% electric car in Mexico. Created in 2017, Zequa is Mexico's first electric car brand, according to the company's website. Para mí es un tema muy importante porque es una industria que se construyó de cierta forma. Una se construyó alrededor del motor de combustión y dos se construyó alrededor del género masculino. Entonces es importante empezar a transformarla en nuestro país porque eso va a ayudar mucho a que esa transformación impacte otras industrias que también son muy masculinas. Entonces para mí eh, es un súper placer poder aportar a difundir ese mensaje de que el tema de la brecha de género en nuestro país existe y que se debe de trabajar. Each car is built by hand in central Mexican state of Puebla. Inside the factory, women mechanics can be seen working alongside male co-workers. Currently, the company offers two different models, MX2 and MX3, both priced at around $29,971. According to Zequa's parent company, Motor Olympios SADCV, the car's battery takes 8 hours to fully charge and will last close to 160 km per charge. It can reach a maximum speed of 85 km per hour. Zequa was named after Aztec Emperor Moctezuma's favorite word. Thousands of Japanese gathered in central Tokyo to enjoy the view of cherry blossoms as COVID-19 restrictions imposed on Tokyo and 17 other prefectures were lifted last week. People wearing masks were seen strolling around the perimeter of the Imperial Palace in central Tokyo taking pictures and posing for selfies among the trees. The age-old tradition of viewing cherry blossoms typically attracts throngs of people to parks to sit under cherry trees for picnics, singing and drinking. However, due to coronavirus pandemic, the metropolitan government has been asking people to refrain from eating and drinking outdoors to avoid the spread of the disease. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Uzma Jafri, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.